In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY set of nesting boxes like these. Welcome back to Bok Bok Bouquet. My name is Ricardo and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button now because we do upload weekly. Today I'm going to show you how to make four nesting boxes using one piece of plywood. I went to Lowe's and I bought me a 4x8 and I didn't even have to rent a truck or bring a big van. I was able to get it all cut at Lowe's for free into pieces like this so I could fit them directly into my trunk in a small car. If you are gonna do cuts at home, make sure you always wear some protective eyewear. It'll keep the sawdust out of your eyes. The panel I bought is a four by eight, which means it's four foot long. I ended up having it cut to 13 inches, so our boxes should be 13 by 13 and 13. Right here, I've already measured out a 12 and a half inch piece so that that could be our dividers in the nesting boxes and our corners. So we're gonna go ahead and get that cut now. I got my straight edge guide that I'm gonna clamp down. That way it doesn't move on us. So we're gonna get this one cut first. Let's go. Got our first panel. We're gonna need a total of five. I found these corner clamps. It's a 90 degree corner clamp on Amazon. They were like super cheap, 15 bucks or so. And they've become really helpful with doing this sort of thing. You just clamp it to your corner like this. It holds it at a 90 degree angle, holds it still for you. And then I'm able to do my, my drilling and putting the screw on while that's holding it together. So we're gonna do that now. And I'm just gonna pre-drill a hole right here. And put my screw in. Another one at the top here. Okay, and then we go to this other side over here and do the same. I've already got my clamps on there, so we're just gonna go ahead and screw that in. Take these off. And that's how convenient these little clamps are that it holds your, whatever you're working on, straight and in 90 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and do the back now. So this one here is already four foot wide, 13 inches tall. And that should fit right there. Again, we're gonna use our little clamps. These clamps are also great for when you're working alone. And you don't have someone to hold the wood for you. Two screws. This thing's starting to take shape really quickly. We got our back, our floor, our ends. Let's see, that would be our top. Then we have our dividers. So on this one here, we're gonna make four nesting boxes. One square foot, 12 inches wide, 12 inches deep. And guess what? We're gonna use our little corner clamps again. I'm telling you, these little corner clamps, game changer. And we got them from Amazon, 15 bucks. I'll leave the link in the description if you wanna try these out. All right, well here we're just gonna do a couple screws across the top. We'll do one in the middle here just for good measure. These screws, it says you don't need to pre-drill. I always like to pre-drill holes just to prevent our wood from splitting when you put the screw in. We got one big box, but we're gonna put the dividers in to give us four nesting boxes. So we're gonna go to about, so they have a perfect 12 inch width. So we're gonna go right there so it could hold it in place, our little corner clamps. Look at that, perfect. We 
We have our four boxes there. The only thing I need to do is add a lip here to hold the nesting material and a little roost bar so that the chickens can jump up there and then decide which one they're gonna go into. At Lowe's, I had the guy cut me a three inch piece. So very minimal pieces that I had to cut here myself. Just do the same thing if you don't got the equipment at home. That's gonna be our lip right there like this. Now I just need to go cut what's actually gonna be the roost bar. I don't have that ready, so we're gonna go get that cut now. The bar that will go across the front there, the roost, is gonna be four foot wide, just like the nesting boxes. And that's gonna be our two pegs that are gonna hold the bar in the middle. Then that's gonna be our bar that's gonna go across the way, just like this. I think that's a wrap. I think we got it all done. We got four nesting boxes, and this is ready for our hands to come and investigate. As I was finishing up this project, right now, literally, it just came in the mail. We got our nesting pads that we like to use in all of our nesting boxes. We get these from myfavoritechicken.com. We'll leave the link in the description below, along with our review video that we made of these guys. You can click here, or it'll be in the description down there. You see, she's already checking it out. She's like, hey, is this a new spot for me to land? Hey, girly girl, you better not be laying in there right now because we haven't set it in the chicken coop yet. It's still on our building table. <laughs> I'm going to say she approves of the new nesting boxes. Well, that wraps it up for today's video, you guys. Thank you for joining me on this build. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel so you can see our weekly uploads. And Hazel and I, thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.